uh, Weather Wayfair and um, and um, Mother Rose. Yeah, just come right here. Actually, I want to kind of wait over there because if that match goes to game three, I want to be able to move them over. But I didn't want to. Ray, Ray gets lonely when he's yeah. over by himself. Uh, how's it going, Tom? Uh, pretty good. Uh, uh, it's your first legacy event, right? Uh, <laughs> first legacy matches ever. So that, that I was hoping uh, I saw the mind break trap. I didn't see too many mind break traps like in most people's sideboards. So when I saw yeah. your sideboard, I'm like, this is going to be fun if you get to bring it in. So yeah. they worked out real well for you there. Yeah, I don't have a chance against that deck without him. Yeah, normally Combo's like happy to play Zoo. Mm -hmm. He had duresses, and he did sign in duresses that we saw, but yeah. but he didn't have them, and you were able to get. But you ended up the game with two mind break traps, right? Yeah, in your hand, so he couldn't even go the second time around. Right, yeah. <laughs> so that was pretty good. Um, how do you feel your chances for today? Uh, pretty good, I think. Uh, as long as I don't run into the too many combo decks, <laughs> I'm, I'm not a favorite against them or anything. I have to draw a mind break trap and get kind of lucky. <laughs> have you, you tested a lot for this? No. Not that much? Not at all. <laughs> Not at all? <laughs> so, watching the last few events, it was uh, was that your testing? Just watching the other players <laughs> go yeah, through? I opted not to play in, in St. Louis. Yeah. And I just watched my friends play the whole time. Watched so, Owen and Brad, Brad Nelson, yeah. Owen Turton Wall play. Like you're able to things. pick up a little about, about the format so that you're able to at least <laughs> battle through here. So, um, what do you expect the field to be like? You see... Did you scope out anything or? <laughs> uh, I saw a lot of Murfolk, which I, I'd like to play. I played Murfolk round one. Yeah, Murfolk, almost a buy for Zoo. I, I don't know what happened in your. You were in game three when we were when we moved you to the feature match table. I don't know how you lost game two, because I believe yeah game two because you were playing game three. Uh, he, he resolved a uh, back to basics on me. Like a bunch of non basic lands to play. Okay. <laughs> he used a bunch of wastelands. He just made me mana light. <laughs> Yeah, I saw that the game three, he tried to do the wasteland attack plan, but of course you had enough lands to <laughs> negate yeah. that, and your big one one, one drops just take, took control of the game, and you got rid of the Jitte, which also <laughs> yeah, which also could it, cause it, a lot of problems for you. Beat. <laughs> yeah, how's your matchup? Did you test against? Oh, have you seen the Enchantress deck? I don't know. Do you have a plan against uh, that? It might be I saw popular. The list. <laughs> I saw a list from Los Angeles, but. No, I haven't played against it. <laughs> Not sure what the plan would be against that. What I've seen, I hadn't seen anybody play it. Yeah, I'm surprised. Normally, uh, normally when the deck wins, people try to like you know <laughs> pick it up and try it out at the next event. But yeah. it seemed like there was a lot of zoo as typical as normal, and combo seemed pretty prevalent too. Mm -hmm. A lot of people like just. I mean, one of the reasons people like Legacy is having the chance to play those fun combo decks, yeah. playing like Adnaz and stuff like that. So we didn't see much of you yesterday. <laughs> what what happened oh, there? <laughs> well, I started off 3-0, and then I got a round four feature match, which I lost. And then round five, I lost again. I just left and <laughs> took a nap in the hotel room. <laughs> you come back, I, I saw you coming back later. I was wondering where you went, but then like later in the day, you were, you were around, it seemed like. Yeah, yeah. I, I came back. Uh, my friend was playing for top, uh, top eight. Uh, All right. Top, high, well, he was in contention for a while. Okay. That's six and one. Uh, Dylan Smith. I think he got a feature match against uh, somebody playing Ranger of Eos and Hedron Crab. Okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I remember that match then. That, that deck was kind of cool. So, uh, for the next coming, upcoming month, we have uh, Grand Prix Oakland. You're going to be there. Mm -hmm. And then the Pro Tour. Yeah. So, you, you're ready for those events. I mean, uh, Grand Prix Oakland, that's extended, right? Mm -hmm. It's yeah. extended, and yeah, so you're ready. What do you like in extended? I've, you, we've had a couple PTQs results come through. I'm not sure if you peeked at those yet. I don't know. I don't know how uh, the next set's going to change. Extended. Or, I don't even know if it's legal. Yeah, it's legal yeah. I'm, I'm legal pretty. Legal yeah, World Weight's legal for February. <laughs> okay. So uh, you're going to be have to do a lot of testing there. Yeah, I guess I have to see the the spoiler for the new set before I make any big decisions. By default, I'll probably just play a zoo deck. <laughs> and there's a. Uh, and then standard, of course, that's going to change a bunch too. Yeah. So <laughs> you have a lot of work to do uh, in this next month. The little testing for yeah. the extended event. We got draft. Uh, was in the car in World Wake. <laughs> oh yeah, that practice in. It's a. Uh, and then at the end of the month, there's uh, another another 5K, so another standard and legacy event. Yeah. So legacy usually doesn't change too much when a new set comes out, but. Yeah. You know, you never know when they, they they just have to release that one card, and all of a sudden there's a brand new deck. Right. 
So we'll see you. Oh, we'll see you there. Definitely. Ho hopefully, we'll be doing some coverage there. Are you working with anyone in particular within this for this event? For this for event? Our, for the next coming events? Uh, probably Brad Nelson and his crew. So, some of the guys from Child Fireball, maybe. All right. Do you, do you actually travel up there or mostly? Uh, <laughs> because you're you're from Louisiana, right? And they're yeah. they're all uh, Midwest and other people all throughout the United States. Do you all meet up beforehand or? Not really. Just mostly online testing and everything like that? Yeah. Oh, you got a good crew to work with. <laughs> Get another PT top eight. <laughs> yeah, nice. What level are you at this year? Uh, five. Level five. So level five is queued for everything. I forget all the perks. You're queued for everything, right? Mm -hmm. and and you, get, you get $250 of parents' fee. Oh, okay. For pro tours. Oh, that, that, that's good. Cover some expenses, so it makes it better, <laughs> easier for you to show up. But you could still... Are you going to plan a PTQ? Because you can sell PTQ at level 5. Uh, yeah. So are you planning to join up some PTQs? Try to snag, <laughs> I don't know, snag I a might. free flight? I mean, a flight to California isn't that much compared yeah. to like a flight to China or something, or Japan. True. <laughs> or even Puerto Rico, but I don't know, I might. Not, to, not not that big not that big of a deal for you. Like just, being qualified is just <laughs> I'd be crushing somebody's dreams. Take, take <laughs> How about the moto PTQs? That's a thousand dollars. Yeah, those are. Have you been uh, motoing? Do you moto at all uh, or Magic I, Online? I do. Uh, I usually draft on there and I, and I watch games, but uh, I haven't played a PTQ on there yet. But I couldn't for San Diego because uh, a top eight is some Grand Prix for. Okay. But for San Juan, I might play. Yeah. I've been interested in trying it, but I haven't gotten to it. Yeah, there was a, there's a one on Tuesday, which is an interesting day to have it on. So I think Tuesday I'm going to try out. <laughs> it's a nice random day to have a, a PTQ online. <laughs> yeah. So go ahead and try that. I know the popularity, there was, there was really, Affinity took down one and Adoran took the other one. Yeah, I think Affinity went undefeated then. Like, yeah, like that. the whole thing. But I know the popularity of Red Burn online just because it's really cheap to build. Yeah. <laughs> Got to modify your sideboards for that. So anything else you want to say to people right now before you take a little break before your next round? <laughs> uh, not really. I'm going to step out. You're trying to get something to eat, I think. All right. Before, thanks, yeah, so, thanks for stopping by. Yeah, Hope to pleasure. talk to you again. <laughs> take care, Tom. Again, that was Tom Ross over there. We just saw Tom playing Zoo, beating George Tugbo Blankenship's Char Belcher combo deck. All right. <clears throat> so right now, uh, Rashad just hanging out, watching some games, seeing if we can get another one for us. <laughs> I don't know if I'm sorry if I missed anything in the chat there. Looking through, missed any questions? Maybe you could ask. You could ask the questions again if you wanted. If you had any questions for me, any problems, any issues? I know some people are saying video problems, but. Just like yesterday, if you guys were here, we had the same issue, and somehow we didn't do anything. It magically cleared up. That's honestly what happened yesterday. We didn't touch anything, and all of a sudden, all our uh, all our internet issues was were non-existent. So hopefully that happens again. So I saw this legacy event here. Only 117 players, so we only got seven rounds of it. Should still be some exciting action. We'll see how the metagames have been developing as it goes through. Hey, well, what's going on? We got uh, George Blankenship. Uh, Rashad, give you a new nickname, actually. Yeah. I it's George that. the Tugboat Blankenship. <laughs> <laughs> You're playing Belcher. Yeah. Say hello to everyone here. Chat's over there. <laughs> so uh, why did you play, why did you play a Belcher? Uh, pretty much because I know nothing about legacy. Um, you you can you can do math though. <laughs> yeah, like, I can do math. <laughs> it's like, play cards, win. Do I win yet? <laughs> Show him my hand. So, uh, how many of the have you played? Any, you played in a five K before this, right? Yeah, actually, Which, the last Dallas five K okay. I top aided. Okay. But that was before the open series yeah. started. Yeah. So, do you play in any other legacy events? Uh, no. So just, just a first. First legacy event? Well, I played the last 5K. Oh, okay. That oh, that was a five, oh, the last 5K was... And, like, one, two dropped. So, <laughs> not, not doing too great at legacy. Were you surprised at that mind break trap, or did you expect No, I knew it? he had it. I brought in duress. Okay, you knew you had it. Well, 
Oh, you said, did you see a sideboard? Like, that yeah. Board? Oh, okay. <laughs> I saw a sideboard in his last feature match. Yeah, I guess it was featured match. Yeah, and I brought in duress. I just, I didn't know if I could mulligan to it or what. Yeah, I saw you bring in duress. I'm like, mm-hmm. do you normally bring in duress against Zoo? Am I, uh, then I started thinking maybe.